Okay, so welcome. Uh, this is my uh, cleaning bench, table, whatever you call it. So excuse the mess. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about uh, Kimber and my fascination or love for the brand or actually the product. Uh, I know most of you or a lot of you are um, what I call the KKK or the Kimber Knocker clans. Uh, you guys think that um, maybe due to the popularity of the guns or some uh, reason that the um, guns are not don't function or they are crappy and all that but uh, I'd like to show you um, uh, this new gun that I got a new Kimber that I got and um, also uh, splice in some videos of me shooting and I'll show you that Kimber is it do indeed make um, quality handguns uh, not only are they accurate they're also very uh, reliable and talk about my experiences with uh, some of uh, Kimber's quirks um, as with all guns they have uh, different quirks so what you see on my table it's um, my uh, Kim my new Kimber uh, CDP Elite 2 an uh, all black um, let me just um, it is uh, my carry gun so it is loaded right now um, so just to appease you internet commandos, I'll just unload it and show clear. So take a magazine, it's a Winchester Ranger T. Drop the round. And then I'll the slide back, just make sure that's clear. Put the finger in there. Oh, it's my finger, just don't drop the slide on my finger. Okay. Point in a safe direction. And we're done. So there, empty gun. So this is the CDP um, Elite, uh, CDP Elite 2. Um, Kimber uh, has a custom shop that uh, produces custom guns in small quantities. And this gun was a variation of the CDP 2 line. Um, but it is called um, uh, CDP Elite 2 because it's all black. Uh, and not only is it all uh, black by limited run, but it has an aluminum frame. Uh, it weighs only 25 ounces uh, with, without a magazine of course and then um, it has melt treatment throughout the gun as you can see it's all beveled uh, and melted for carry uh, you can see some of the wear here that I've carried this gun a lot uh, and then um, it also has an enlarged ejection port uh, as you can see here the typical ejection port clearance not only that but up front as well I don't know if the camera can zoom in, but you can see that it's uh, opened up a little bit so that it has a larger ejection port. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like is the sights. I mean, this is standard night sights that they have, the three dot night sights. Um, this is pretty interesting. I, I don't like the, the rear dots. I prefer if it's uh, blacked out and maybe a fiber optic or a tritium uh, uh, front. Uh, I do wish though that they didn't use this ramp style sights. Um, because I know I know why they went with a ramp style sight so that it's uh, it's rounded and it doesn't have any sharp edges and you know it doesn't get snagged on any clothes. But uh, but if you kind of think of it, they they should have a ledge like a square uh, ledge. The the reason why you want that is so that when you if ever you need to clear this gun or clear the malfunction or rack the slide one handed. Uh, let's say if you got shot on the left hand or if you only have one hand uh, it's easier for you to just catch this the ledge on maybe your belt and then as you push it down you're you know rag the slide that kind of thing um, I prefer if I have that uh, ledge here uh, apart from that it's an awesome gun it's a it's base it's a three inch barrel it's based on an officer sized frame uh, obviously the magazine only carries uh, seven rounds uh, we want up the pipe so you have eight and I carry a spare magazine that carries another seven or eight, depending on uh, the size of the magazine that you want. Um, and it's pretty darn accurate. Um, the grips is, are not original. I uh, replace these grips. I love the uh, the, full, the the fake ivory uh, look on the black gun. That looks beautiful, I think. And I, I bought this from um, DuraGrips.com for about twenty-two bucks. Uh, they're nice. They're nice looking. They're slim as well. And not really fat so it, it fits very well in my hand um, so I've uh, I've looped this gun with uh, with slipstream um, just giving 
sleep sim a try um, a lot of people say good things about it so I'm just gonna go it's not bad actually it's um works like just any other lubricant um, I can't tell the difference so and it doesn't stink so I'll use that uh, what's really difficult about um, it, um, disassembling this gun is the um, see the recoil spring has this special hole in here somewhere that you need to put a paper clip and hold it in place so that you can take the uh, the slide stop out but I bought this um, from a um, I, I put a link down here for you guys to see but this is like a tool 1911tool.com I think where it just fits into the guy about here pops in and it holds the gun in place, it holds the slide in place you can just drop it and it correctly aligns your slide stop with the take down notch and you can pop the slide stop up and then disassemble and then you reassemble, just put it back pull it out, remove the tool drop the slide and you're ready to go right? so that's the uh, CDP Elite 2 um, I like it a lot um, it's, uh, it's nice, it's small it doesn't print that much because the, the grip is shortened, the officer size, and then obviously the length of the barrel is short. A lot of people say, oh, why don't you get a 5-inch barrel, 4-inch barrel to get more uh, accuracy out of the gun. I mean, seriously, you know, if you're going to conceal carry, uh, I'll show you in a video that I actually hit a man size target up to 200 yards with this. So, I mean, if how, accurate, how more accurate do you want to get uh, for conceal carry? If you're going to shoot somebody, 200 yards away, I think that's a big mistake, right? Um, if somebody is 200 yards away trying to get you, you run. You run for cover or run somewhere else. I mean, it's just hilarious the kind of things that people, the internet commandos will, will tell you. Oh yeah, you need an additional half an inch uh, just to get that accuracy. I mean, yeah, but how often are you going to shoot, make use of the extra half an inch compared to how often are you going to carry this gun? I carry this gun almost every day and I prefer the shorter barrel. Uh, I also have a uh, segment of video where I um, draw from concealment, fire eight rounds from this gun, and then reload with a magazine, a spare magazine uh, that I keep in my jeans pocket. I don't even carry a, a mag pouch. And draw that and reload the gun, and then fire it off another seven shots. And you see that uh, hit all. Um, I actually did it did pretty well. So I'll show you the hits on the target and um, and also the uh, two hundred yard shots. So this is a uh, very very awesome gun. Um, I believe it retails for I want to say twelve thirteen hundred dollars. I bought this uh, second hand. Oh well, used. Now one of the interesting things about Kimber is if you were to buy uh, a new Kimber, um, there is a break-in period, and um, there, it's in a manual, and um, they tell you to shoot at least two hundred rounds or two hundred fifty rounds. Shoot a gun. So that you're breaking in, so uh, and um, and after the break-in period, uh, the gun will run fine. Uh, and this is my experience. Uh, I bought this used, so it has been broken in. I shot maybe 100, 150 rounds today. Uh, wide variety, my own reloads, um, Hornady Critical Defense, um, uh, Winchester Ranger T. No feeding problems, no issues at all. Uh, I was worried that there will be issues, but no issues also, so I'm very happy with that. I have another uh, Kimber uh, Eclipse Pro 2, which I also bought used. Uh, when I first shot it, maybe 500 rounds, I shot it through a single stack match. No issues with the gun, again, uh, because it's broken in. Now, my first uh, 1911 ever is a Kimber Custom 2. I don't have it here with me, but um, it's a long custom TLE RL2 with a rail. 5 inch government length uh, with a rail and a full size frame. Now that gun caused me problems in the beginning. In the first, I believe first 300 rounds, there were uh, multiple failure to feed, failure to, well, part of it is also the magazine, right? They, they tell you that, you know, you need to troubleshoot, every time you buy a 1911, you need to shoot that, shoot rounds through a few different magazines, just to see which one that gun likes, because there are so many manufacturers. Uh, like for instance, the um, my Kimber Custom 2, after going through a couple of magazines, uh, I settled on the Chip McCormick. My Eclipse Pro 2 prefers the Wilson and uh, stock uh, Kimber magazines. And this is a stock Kimber magazine and it works fine with this gun, so I'm going to stay with that. 
so again, if you are again 1911 and you're having problems, try the magazines. The other thing to try is also the uh, uh, extractor tension to make sure that uh, you uh, fix that properly. If you don't know how to do it, send it to a gunsmith and they'll work it out. So my first Kimber Custom 2, um, first 300 rounds, I had so many different problems from magazines to e ejection, FTEs, FTFs. But after about 300 rounds, everything started to normalize and then um, no more issues. Um, it, I shot the next maybe 1500, 2000 rounds in IDPA matches, in single stack matches, not an issue at all. Uh, so again, um, when you buy a Kimber gun, just make sure you shoot it. I mean, it's a great reason to shoot, right? Go shooting. Um, just make sure that uh, the ammo works in the gun uh, and you go through the breaking period as suggested by the manufacturer. After that, uh, they, you will serve you well. There will be no more issues uh, for you. Um, so that's been my experience. Uh, I'm sure <clears throat> a lot of these people who are on forums, they will say, oh, Kimber is crap. Why? Because they're still shooting it during the... the yeah, break-in period, or maybe the extractor, the extractor tension has loosened if they're shot in, I don't know, 10,000 rounds, 15,000 rounds, but this gun is a very, very reliable gun. Uh, just as with all guns, even Glocks or m &Ps or whatever, they all have their own quirks and issues, right? Sometimes they jam, sometimes they, they freeze, sometimes they have problems that you just really don't know how to troubleshoot, but, you know, uh, some of my friends ask me, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're betting your life on 3-inch Kimber. Uh, yeah, seriously, this gun is amazing and I definitely uh, will depend on this gun. Uh, I, I shot it today, it just amazed me how... Um, yeah, you know, a lot of people say, oh, this gun is accurate, it's a tag driver. It's not a tag driver, I doubt any gun. Even if you put it on Ransom Rest, it would be a tag driver, apart from all this really long 10-inch, you know, Olympic-style kind of guns. but. It is accurate. It is accurate enough. Uh, I can definitely hit a man-sized target. Out. I don't want to do it at 200 yards, obviously. But you know, I also have some footage of me shooting at a target at 25 yards. It's easy. You know, the the, the group is you know that big up 25 yards. Well, that's good enough. Uh, most of the engagements will be within 10 to 15 yards, maybe or 7 to 15. I don't know what the the national statistics is, but. Um, definitely, definitely defend it. And, and recoil is pretty interesting as well. <clears throat> it is a shot and shot gun, so your grip is very important here. Uh, obviously, this is my um, the, the very popular two hand grip. Um, some of my shots today, I did not have a full uh, strong grip with my left hand. I left my left hand basically just resting there. And every every shot I took, the gun jumped like that. Uh, that's pretty pretty normal for a forty five. But when I bear down on the gun and, and ensure that I have a good grip you know with your right hand you need to squeeze front and back your left hand is left and right right so when you get a good grip I tried this I shot seven shots and just went like that okay the recall is just that minimal with 45 uh, defensive loads so 45 is controllable it's actually softer I I have a Glock 19 as well with 9mm rounds and it's really snappy, loud and snappy. 45 has this nice recall impulse, it just pushes your hand, obviously, sometimes like that, but if you had a good grip, it just pushes your hand, feels really good, and I love the 45. So that's my review, uh, well, not really a review, but just didn't want to share that with you. And uh, just wanted all the Kimber haters to know that, hey, this is a, it's a great gun. Um, don't knock the brand if you haven't shot it yet or haven't owned one. Uh, so uh, take a look at some of the video footage I'm going to splice in now. Right, enjoy.
wearing a uh, Timber CDP Elite uh, CDP Elite 2 Ultra, 3 inch, 8 round. And a reload, 7 round, in my jeans pocket. Oh, I forgot. Uh, obviously, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna carry it. So, I'm just gonna load it up. If you guys are wondering what's beyond that wall, beyond that wall is just a concrete wall. Uh, I'm in my den that's underground. So, I'll just do a press check. Here we go, that's around. Safety on, holster. Good to go. Bye. Thank you.